What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some new content as usual, man. We got the new Prime series. Now we got Lamar Odom. Before we get to the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes in this video for some empty giveaways on Twitter. Um, also, drop the sub, man. We're on 9,500 subs, man. We're so close to 10K. So if you guys would please just keep smashing that like button. I get the tokens every week, so here's the spin. I literally get every week, bro. Every single week I get the tokens. But yeah, make sure to smash like button. Also, we're buying and selling MT. We're saving up these packs for you guys now. Here we go. We got a ton of content. Um, it's coming soon. It probably packs will probably drop around 11 o'clock. Here is the content, man. We got it early. So here it is, man. Hopefully, we're the first to post the new content. So there is an S a player added to the set. It is Lamar Odom. Now is no longer five players for the set. It is now six, which means something crazy is coming. Personally, I'm going to try to get my hands on Lamar Odom. We're probably also going to have a little tiny pack opening in one of the videos, probably my MT video. So Lamar Odom is going to be really good stats. We also have a new Danny Granger. And we have a new Eddie Curry. I don't know who that is. He's probably money. A Coutinho Mobley and a Nick Young. So we got a swaggy P as well. It's probably going to be a dope amethyst. We're going to go over the George Murray scene quick. Um, his stats are pretty cool. He is a 7-7 seven, seven foot center. If you guys don't know, he has a 64 three-point shot, which is not good at all. He has an 83 mid-range, 80 driving layup, 95 driving dunk. So right off the bat, Manu Bowl is going to be better than this card. So I have Manu Bowl. I'd say Manu Bowl's price possibly goes up. He also has a 97 post hook, 80 post fade. Um, his block is a 95. His perimeter defense is a 65. Interior defense, 95, 85 steal. He is 7-7, seven, seven, by the way. So... This car is going to be really good. He has 22 holes. Only his gold quick draw is the only shooting badge he does have. So that's kind of an L. Um, he has 8 Hall of Fame finishing badges. He has 13 defensive and rebounding Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame protector all that stuff. He does have gold clamps, gold pogo stick, and gold interceptor. So honestly, this card is going to be like the, the Sapphire. I feel like it's at this level of 2K play. It's pretty much going to be the Sapphire in the beginning of the game. It's just now it's a pink diamond and it's at the end of the game. So they transformed the Sapphire, made it a little bit better, made it a 96 pink diamond, which is pretty much the Sapphire just at this stage of the game. That's the way I see it. So it's not really too crazy. He is 7-7, seven, seven, which is really cool. But eh, Manu Bowl is a lot better. Manu Bowl is an 82 three-point shot. He has a very, very good jump shot, and I love Manu Bowl, bro. Manu Bowl has been on my team forever. Um, I've been using a new ball in my God squad, so he's really good. Let's go over to Danny Granger. We'll go over the, what's his name last, the Lamar Odom. So here's the Danny Granger, 99 overall, 97 three-point shot, 97 mid-range. He is a power, a small forward shooting guard at 6'9", so that's really, really OP. Um, his, perimeter, his driving dunk is going to be an 85, 75 driving, I mean uh, 75 standing dunk, 89 speed, 91 speed of ball. So this car is really freaking good. Um, perimeter D, 91, steel 89. That's really low, though. 88 steal and 90. He's, he's just not going to be good at shooting guard. It's going to be hard to cover that T Mac. His defense is not that good. So, honestly, Opal T Mac is definitely going to be better. Opal T Mac is that good. Even his pink diamond T Mac. If this Danny Granger is probably only going to be like around 100K. I feel like this card is not good. Yeah, he's probably going to have a really OP jump shot. But I don't know how I feel about the card. It's a small forward shooting guard, Danny Granger. Decent card. Finishing, bro. He has great shooting badges, bro. Gold quick draw, which is weird. He doesn't have Hall of Fame, but. Every other shooting badge besides Steady Shooter, Ice and Veins, he has Hall of Fame. So this car is going to be amazing at shooting. He's probably going to have a top jump shot. He also has 39 hauls. So he has 39 Hall of Fame badges. He also has Hall of Fame clamps, Hall, um, Hall of Fame interceptors. So that's really good. He's going to be really good off the steals. 6'9". He's definitely going to feel a little slow, though. And 88 speed is not too deadly for a small forward shooting guard. And then we got this Eddie Curry. In my opinion, I have no idea who this is. I've never heard of Eddie Curry. I don't know if he has anything to do with real Stephen Curry. But we're about to find out. It's Eddie Curry. I think he's a 95 overall diamond. He's actually a 98 pink diamond. He's on the Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan. I don't even know who this is. Center power forward, Eddie Curry, 7 foot tall. Um, he has an 85 three ball shot, 84 mid-range, driving dunk 95, standing dunk 98, speed 92, 87 speed of ball. So this is going to be one of those centers that are absolutely OP. 
I could smell it already, bro. He has an 87 speed with ball. I'm pretty sure Dino Raja has something like that. And Dino Raja feels like Giannis. Um, yeah, speed. He's faster than freaking Dino Raja, and he's also a freaking inch taller than Dino Raja. So this is the new Dino Raja that could shoot better. He has a 92 three point shot, 87 speed with ball. This car is going to be incredible. 95 block, 80 perimeter. So he's a literally an insane athletic power forward, in my opinion. He's going to be a sick athletic seven foot tall power forward something similar to kg now let's see if he has shooting badges he has gold range extender and gold quick draw so this card right here is absolutely incredible this eddie curry is going to be a madman a macho man he's going to take dino raja's spot in the god squad and now dino raja is no longer the best he has 31 hall of fame badges at a 98 he'll probably be around 40k this card is going to be incredible he also has gold badges he has hall of fame clamps he has hall of fame pogo stick he has gold interceptor. This car is key. He has Hall of Fame box, Hall of Fame rim protector, Hall of Fame brick wall. Um, this card is going to be legit. This is one of my favorite cards in the game, like literally by the stats. Let's go over Coutinho Mobley and then Swaggy P. And then we'll go over Lamar Odom and I'll tell you if he's worth it or not. Um, let's see. Coutinho Mobley. Here we go. So Coutinho Mobley, 95 overall. He has a 96 three-point shot. He's a 6'4". He's a shooting guard small far at 6'4". So he's not that good. 96 three-point shot. 80 driving dunk. Perimeter D. Um, oh, 77 perimeter D with a 90 steal. This car is garbage. A 94 overall. He probably has a sick jump shot. But yeah, it's Hall of Fame range and Hall of Fame quick draw. Hall of Fame clamps. Okay. Gold quick. Gold interceptor. Okay, this card's obviously good. It's just the height and shooting guard small forward. If you were to small forward, it's going to be embarrassing. So he's really not good enough because he's so small. But uh, yeah, let's go over this Nick Young. To be completely honest, this Nick Young is going to be cheese. He's going to be one of those cars that all the budget baller use. And he's going to be really, really cheap. So here it is. It's an Amethyst 92. He's on the Lakers. 95 three-point shot. 95 driving dunk. 93 speed with ball, which is really good too. He is a shooting guard small forward. It would have been cool if he had a point guard. He also has a 92 mid-range. Perimeter D89, steal 31. So he's a 31 steal. He has 26 Hall of Fame badges. Hall of Fame obviously has gold range. He has gold quick draw, which is weird. Hall of Fame range. So I guess they're going to have another uh, Nick Young. He has a Hall of Fame clamps as well. Pretty good car, I'm going to say. I'm not really going to go too much into it. But this card is definitely the one. This card is very good. Now let's get into Lamar Odom. So now, my opinion, the best car in the set so far is Eddie Curry. For the price. He's going to be dirt cheap. Eddie Curry is going to be the man. He's going to be the myth. He's going to be the legend. So there is six players in the set, meaning I feel like Luka Doncic's value is going to drop, even though it is Luka. It is definitely Luka. So 99 Lamar Odom, 95 three-ball shot, 95 mid-range, 95 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, speed with ball, 95, speed with ball, I mean, speed with ball, 92, speed, 95. He is a small forward power forward. Um, he has an 88 block, interior D92, perimeter D92, 89 steal, 95, 95 rebounding. This car is going to be incredible. He's 6'10", at power forward, small forward. I'm playing him at small forward probably. With those speed, it's insane. Gold quick draw, Hall of Fame range extender. This Lamar Odom is something else. I mean, he has 43 Hall of Fame badges. He has Hall of Fame pogo stick, Hall of Fame post move lockdown, Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame pick dodger. Um, Hall of, like literally, bro, gold rim protector, gold hard crusher, light rim fleshes. Um, he even has Hall of Fame Interceptor. So this card, defensively, is probably one of the best defensive cards in the game. Until they probably drop Opal Kawhi, Opal Giannis. But, yo, this card's probably going to rock around 600k. Nah, he'll be around 500k. Um, personally, is he worth it? He's going to be worth it. He's going to be a set reward. The set reward of this set's going to be crazy because Lamar Odom is absolutely amazing. This card is insane. So now, what do I expect? I'm going to tell you the prices real quick. I'm going to tell you who's going to be worth it and whatnot. So my opinion... Danny Granger is not going to be worth it, in my opinion. Lamar Odom is definitely worth it, obviously, if you have the MT. He's not going to be worth it. I think he's going to be too expensive. He's not worth it, in my opinion. Eddie Curry is going to be the best card in the set for the price, and then George Mercin. Why do I say Eddie Curry? This card is insane. He is Curry. He is literally Curry at center. He could shoot. He has gold range. He's amazing. He probably has a really good jump shot, too, and he's very athletic. So he's going to be the Dino Roger. That's a little bit better. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's all the stats. There's all the cards. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. We got four, four more vids today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.